my topic is going to be hot tonight. This is Thursday night hot topic. Now we're talking about celibate and abstaining. Okay. And I'm talking about this because you all have got to understand the difference. And most of you do not. And you're out there claiming to be this person or claiming to do this and that. And you are not such. Okay. So we're going to talk about what's the difference. Now, um, thank you for joining me. You know, this is Thursday night, hot night. And we do our talking on some major subjects that you may not know. Now, remember, guys, make sure you share this with other people because a lot of people don't know a lot of things when it comes to sex and relationships. So you got to share. Also, make sure you like. Send me some hearts. Thank you, guys, who give me the hearts. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. And uh, let people know who the Love Doctor is because I'm coming every day. Now, if you're not uh, on my uh, Facebook, make sure you go there because I'm putting up daily talks every day uh, on my Facebook channel. And that's Love Dr. Pamela Smith. So make sure you go there. Love Dr. Pamela Smith is my live channel every day. Okay, so we're going to have that something. I'm talking some stuff every day. Hey, guys, thank you for those questions. Um, and those who are on here, some of you may be celibate and some of you may be abstaining. But the problem is most of you do not understand what it means. So this is why I'm talking about it, because this is uh, a major, major, major subject we need to talk about. So let me I'm going to go right into it. Now, first off, you know how I do it. I give you information from like you're starting over and don't have no idea of trying to understand. And the reason I do that is that I don't make the assumption that you know. Because I talk about this all the time. We assume that each other know what's going on. The man assume the woman know and the woman assume the man know. So to be on the safe side, I take you back to school and give you education. Now those of you who don't know me, I have been doing this now for over 12 years. I do this to help you find love, get love, and keep love. That's my whole entire goal to do in relationships. Now, with many other relationships ex experts out here, but I'm a loveologist. I study it, and I teach it, I talk it, I cancel, and I do classes. Okay? So, let's get right into it. Now, understand the definition that you're going to get is based on relationships. Remember, this is based on relationships. So don't give me, sending me no message about, well, you didn't say that's what this mean and why you didn't go into that. Because this is based on relationships, okay? Now, what is celibate? Celibate, being celibate or what is the, the word defined when it comes to relationship? What is celibacy? It is a person who makes a decision to remain uh, out or do not entertain sexual relationships and to their, i.e. either marriage or they, you know, don't want to go into relationships at all or don't want to go into marriage. It's a very basic answer to celibacy or celibate. What's abstaining? Okay, so abstaining is when you make a decision to temporary stop having sexual activity okay or that's in the relationship now abstaining can is, is defined in many ways right uh, just like you a celibate person abstains to remain unmarried until they meet the person so that they want to be with to marry okay now let's let's talk about who are usually what what's the usually the reason that people are this because th this is so important okay so a person decides to stay celibate could be because they decide to go into some form of religion um they decide to be celibate because of their religion um they want to be uh, uh celibate because they don't want to uh be in a sexual active relationship uh they don't want to uh uh, their, their 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 mindset to go into that level just yet, so they're not interested in having a relationship on a sexual level. Now that's celibate. Now abstaining is a person who choose to no longer engage in a sexual activity. Okay, 
That's a person who say, well, you know, I've, I've, I had, I've already had sex before, but I don't want to do it no more because you all treat me like, and I don't get, and this is not, this is the reason a person d decides to abstain. They decide because they've been hurt. Um, th they uh, want to avoid diseases. Uh, they, they don't want to get pregnant. Uh, and because of religious reason, or they just don't want to be in a relationship that's abstaining, okay? Now, so so what would you say, and here's what the, the, the reason why, I'm going to get into it, but I, wanna, I want you to get an understanding first of what I'm talking about. There's a benefit and that's a con. So let's, let's get to the benefit before I start telling you my opinion. See, the benefit of being celibate is that you avoid diseases, or you avoid emotional connection and you avoid the, going into that position of learning to love or be loved with someone right now because you don't have that. You, you love yourself more to wait for the mate that you believe is going to give you what you want and make you happy. So you wait. That's the benefit of it is to wait for the right person. Okay. The benefit of abstaining is you're what? Avoiding diseases. You're avoiding uh, being hurt. You avoid uh, relationship issues, confrontations. You avoid uh, things that you're not ready for. So that means you're working on yourself. Okay? That's the benefit of uh, being celibate and abstaining. Well, what's the con? Now, there's some con now. We're going to talk about it. There's some con. Now, I don't mind you guys. Send me a message. Say what you got to say. If you uh, have any other information you want to tell. Now, what's the con? Because there's a con. There's a con in being celibate. The con is you, you don't, you, you're not accepting or being ready to accept emotional relationships. And you feel that it's not the time or the place for you as an individual to go into that arena of love and being um, sexual active with someone. Now, it's not something that you have to do. It's just that you decide that you will wait. You will wait until you meet the person that's going to give you what you want and the desire that, that should be fulfilled by another person person so you you decide well i'll just wait i'll just wait for that person and stay in my lane until i meet that person or you may want to be a nun or you may want to you know be a priest or you just don't want to at all because it's, it's, it's and i'll talk about that after i finish saying what i'm saying but the con is is that you're not accepting most people right now and you could have some fear you could be um uh what's that word um well help me guys what's the word when you don't uh introvert is that the right word <laughs> when you don't you don't want to get close to people right now so so it's a con to it because you're still dealing with yourself so it's a con to to, to celibacy okay now the con to abstinence is you have a loss of affection so you don't want to, you just want to abstain from it. So you've lost the affection for someone. You have sexual frustration. You may have a sexual issue. You may not be able to uh, satisfy your mate anymore. You may have, uh, be on a lot of medicine. And so therefore it doesn't allow you to uh, be able to perform better for that person. Or you just have a lack of pleasure in the act of a sexual activity. And so that is... A, a, a con in abstaining now let's talk about what makes uh what what is the reason that the here okay here's why i'm talking about it the problem is that you all are trying to define uh being celibate and, and, and abstaining as the same and they're not the same now I'm talking about this because a lot of men and a lot of women go out here and say, oh, I'm celibate. But you just had, you had a baby uh, uh, last year. 
You you had sex six months ago. You uh, you were married a year ago, but you celibate. See, y'all don't understand what celibacy means. Celibate is means that you have never, ever had sex. Now, I'm trying to figure out why you all out there saying you're celibate. And you've just had all those things I just said to you. So there's no way you're celibate. If you don't understand the definition of what I'm talking about, celibate, it's a person who's never had sex. That's being celibate. They've never, they have no desire. They don't want it right now. They're willing to wait. And they have never had sex. That's being celibate. What you're actually doing is abstaining. Abstaining is a decision to say, oh, I don't want to have, I don't, I just, I'm just, I'm just going to cut it off. I don't, I don't want to deal with it anymore. I'm tired of being used. I'm tired of being hurt. I'm tired of going through the changes. People are not treating me right. And I'm just not giving up the sex anymore. That's abstaining. That's abstinence. That's when you make a decision that you will no longer get yourself involved in a sexual activity. And you all are out here saying you're celibate. You don't understand the difference. What do you think the reason of the words exist? They don't exist for you to use it loosely. You're not, you, if you, and again, if you have, have ever had sex and you, you decide to no longer have sex, you are abstaining. You have made a conscious decision that you will no longer be in a romantic relationship. You don't want a, re, a, a romantic relationship. You're not interested in having sexual activities. You just decide that I'm going to work on myself and I don't want to deal with anyone right now. That is abstaining. So can you all please start using the word that I've decided I'm going to abstain from any sexual activity at this time because you're not celibate. So get over it and stop claiming you're celibate. Okay. Now the solution to all this is in a nutshell and we're going to, and we're going to be done. If you decide that you at this moment in time have never had sex, have never engaged in sex, you stay strong until you believe you are ready to meet the mate that makes you happy. Don't let no one push you into that. Don't let anyone convince you of that. You get, you get in that position of love and desiring someone when you are ready. And until then, don't let someone convince you that they're going to love you better and do give you what you want when you're not sure. If you're not sure, don't do it. Stay who you are. Stay strong in your conviction. And do not change that decision based on somebody else's want or need. Be ready to do what you're ready to do when you're ready. Now, for those who are abstaining, if you make a conscious decision to abstain, do that until you're ready. If you are working on yourself, if you're working on, you, 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 you had to start over, you uh, have a financial crisis, uh, you are confused, you don't want the affection of a, a mate at this time because you're doing things in your life, then do that and abstain until you're able to give someone proper affection. Until you're able to understand how to love someone better and how you want to be uh, loved better. Then abstain until you want to be treated a certain way so that you can have great sexual activities or great uh, romantic activities or just to have someone love you the way you should be loved, then wait. And that's it, guys, in a nutshell. I told you when I started talking, we're going to get to the point. That's what celibacy and abstaining is about. It, in the end of everything I talk about, it's the same thing. It's about your being ready for yourself. It's about your being ready for the love or whatever you're deciding to do in your, in your arena, in your life for now or for later. But please make sure, if you don't understand what I just said to you when it comes to celibacy and abstaining, rewind and listen to it again. If you still don't understand, go Google it and bring it up <laughs> and, and get the definition again, okay? So I hope we um, got some information there. Thank you for joining me. Make sure again that you like and share and subscribe and stay apart. Um, if you want to hear more of what I talk about each day, I've, I'm doing daily shows every day. So make sure you don't miss out. 
Make sure you don't miss out what I'm talking about because I'm going to have crazy conversations every day about something that's going on in this world. So remember, only true love is delayed. You never have to seek love. Love is always seeking you and is always out there for you. You never have to rush or jump for love. Okay, guys, take care. I will see you soon and we will talk later.